Hey everybody, welcome back to The Loop. I'm so glad you've chosen to join me today as we continue to walk through the Bible together. This week, I want us to spend some time together in the Old Testament book of Micah. Micah is another one of the minor prophets, and like so many of these books, we see a pattern. We see the people rebelling against God. We see the reality of God's judgment. But thankfully, we also see a glimmer of hope. In the first two chapters, we see the people rebelling. The question is, what are they doing that elicits the judgment of God? They're struggling with the same two things people have always struggled with. Our executive pastor, Jeremy Hall, he calls them honeys and monies. In chapter 1, verse 7, Micah talks about the money that has been spent on prostitutes. And in chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, Micah talks about the powerful people who are taking people's homes and lands away from them in a fraudulent way because they're greedy. On top of all that, we read in chapter 2, verse 6, that the prophets will not prophesy. These men of God are unwilling to confront this kind of sin that exists in their community. Now, we don't want to experience what they experienced, so we need to confront these issues that are very much a part of our lives. You may not be sleeping with a prostitute, but let me ask you, is there any kind of sexual sin in your life? Maybe you are paying for a prostitute. Maybe you're paying for pornography. Are you sleeping with someone who's not your spouse? If you will just read the book of Micah and see how God responds to this nation, you will see how important it is to turn away from sexual sin. Maybe the issue in your life is not sex. Maybe it's money. There's so much fraud and theft in our world today. It's ridiculous. People stealing possessions. People stealing credit cards. People stealing identities. People stealing from work. People stealing from the elderly. People charging for repairs that aren't even needed or overcharging because they think the customer won't notice. I've experienced almost every one of those things since I moved to the coast. If that's you, you may think that people don't notice, but I'll remind you, God notices. And if you read the book of Micah, you will see what God does to people who live like that. So if that's the way you treat other people, I would tell you to knock it off before God gets a hold of you. In the words of Forrest Gump, that's all I have to say about that. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow for another episode on The Loop.